and I was awake. And I need help. Disney and Lucasfilm Star Wars The Last Jedi needed no help as it blasted onto the big screen over the weekend, making a near $220 million debut in North America, the second best showing of all time behind Star Wars The Force Awakens. The Last Jedi opened only 11% behind The Force Awakens' record-shattering domestic launch of $247.9 million on the same weekend in 2015, a rare achievement for a sequel. Internationally, the Ryan Johnson-directed blockbuster took in $230 million from 54 markets for a worldwide launch of $450 million. Disney distribution chief Dave Hollis said the studio expected the film, which has a hefty running time of two hours and 30 minutes, to come in behind The Force Awakens by as much as 20% around the world. He said its stellar performance is a reflection of Star Wars' cultural influence as well as the film's diverse cast. The results speak to the power of representation. It is a movie that's relatable both because of the characters and the conflict, Hollis said, noting that The weekend pushed Disney past the $2 billion mark domestically for a third consecutive year. The Last Jedi is one of only four films to open to $200 million or more domestically after The Force Awakens, Universal's Jurassic World, which made $208.8 million, and fellow Disney title The Avengers, which brought in $207.4 million. And the Star Wars series is now the first film franchise in history to see two installments clear $200 million in another win for the Disney production empire and marketing team. The Last Jedi, otherwise known as Episode 8, reunites many of the new Star Wars actors introduced in The Force Awakens, including Daisy Ridley, Adam Driver, John Boyega, Oscar Isaac, Andy Serkis, and Lupita Nyong'o, along with original stars Mark Hamill and the late Carrie Fisher, to whom the movie is dedicated. Franchise newcomers include Kelly Marie Tran, Laura Dern, and Benicio Del Toro. The story picks up immediately after the events of The Force Awakens, with Rey seeking out Luke to help the Resistance and its fight against the villainous Kylo Ren and the First Order. The Last Jedi came in well ahead of last year's standalone film Rogue One, A Star Wars Story, which banked $155.1 million. Globally, Force Awakens and Rogue One went on to earn $2.1 billion and $1.1 billion, respectively. The Last Jedi premiered just as Disney announced its $52.4 billion bid to buy major 21st Century Fox assets, including the film studio, home of George Lucas' first six Star Wars movies prior to selling Lucasfilm to Disney. Animated film Ferdinand was the only new release up against The Last Jedi and brought in $13.3 million from 3,261 theaters, the lowest debut for any Fox Animation Blue Sky title. So, did you see The Last Jedi over the weekend? If so, how many times? And did it live up to your expectations? Let us know in the comments. For The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Lindsay Rodriguez.